It just came in the mail today, and given Wizard's track record, I'm honestly a little bit impressed. So ignoring the whole fiasco of it being almost impossible to order the 30th Countdown Advent Calendar Kit, um, I'm honestly impressed they got it to us before December, as promised. That is... Good job, Wizards. You get a thumbs up for me on that portion of it, but you do not get a thumbs up for allowing people to order 30 of these so they can just scalp them on eBay. That wasn't very cool. Anyway, after a, like almost an hour of trying and dealing with the server outages and all of that stuff, right when they launched this product, I did manage to buy a copy, even though it was confusing as to whether I actually got it or not, given that when I hit checkout and confirm order, it just gave me a blank error 404 page. But regardless, we have our secret lair 30th countdown advent calendar thing. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. So here we are, our secret lair box. On the back, we have our contents. It says it contains 30 cards. So let's go ahead and open it up and see which ones we managed to get in foil. So go ahead and rip that up. Cheers to another 30 years. Hopefully y'all Take the feedback from this year's 30th anniversary and apply it to the next one. And then inside, in this little secret hidden padding compartment, we have a really cool translucent dice. That's honestly really neat. So this is an actual... Oh, it's a D30! That's really cool. 30-sided dice for 30 years of magic. That is nice. We'll put this stuff over to the side here. And let's go ahead and take a look inside the box. So we have this super shiny galaxy foiling kind of secret lair box. I wonder if they already had that planned before Infinity. I guess I wouldn't call this galaxy foil. This is more like disco foil. On the back, we've got nothing. And so I guess we'll go ahead and open our little shoe box here. Shoe box for very tiny people, at least. And inside, we have boosters, it looks like, for every year of magic existing. Let's go ahead and read this pamphlet, and then we'll open the boosters, which I'm a little bit worried about single card boosters. It might be really easy to warp the cards while trying to open those. Here we have some beautiful artwork, and I know a lot of people want to open this as an advent calendar, one a day for all of December or whatever, but I don't have that kind of patience or self-control. So how will you hang your boosters? I won't. I'm going to open them all right here on the spot. We have uh, all sorts of... We have all of the magic sets, it looks like, listed. That's quite a few. I could spend a bunch of time here reading all these, but I know you all just want to see the contents and see which ones I got foil. So let's start off with 1993. These are extremely flimsy. There are definitely going to be some damaged cards issues with people trying to open these. Um, I might have that issue right now. So they have like little pull tabs on them. If you look really close, there are no pull tabs on these to make this easier to open. Well, we will just hope for the best. They did not make these. Oh, oh, it looks like there is a pull tab. Kind of, maybe that pull tab is not opening. Maybe it would have been smart to have um, scissors or something on me. Yeah, this is a huge problem, guys. That is a design flaw. How the hell do you open this? Like, they don't rip like a standard booster would. I genuinely don't know the best way to open this. Have half a mind to go get a cutting board and slice it open with a knife. This is not great. <laughs> this doesn't open. Um... That worries me. Can we like open it like this? That's one way to do it, I suppose. I wonder if that's how it's intended. I'm just really worried about hurting the cards. Like normally you have 15 cards to back it up inside of a booster. Here we have a foil. Shivan Dragon for our first pull. If all of them take that long to open, we might be here for a while. Uh, the cool thing about this product is it is random uh, which ones are foil and which ones are not. My friend got two foil chrome boxes that I'm a little bit jealous of. Yeah, I suppose this is how we're supposed to open them. Kind of like this. This is pretty sketchy if you ask me. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I think this is the only way to open it without bending the cards. I guess we can try to guess if it's foil or not by how pringled it is. We have a Mishra's Factory. Not in foil, but beautiful artwork. We got 30 cards to go through, so we'll stack them kind of nice and neat like that, I suppose. Here we have 1995. Let's open this Snow Blue Boosty. Is there really no pull tab on these? I thought I thought I saw it on the first one. I think it was just uh, I don't know. I think we I think this is the way you're supposed to do it. This uh, worries me greatly. They should have included instructions or something. I guess if you're opening one a day, uh, how difficult it is to open isn't that big of an issue. It's not as time consuming if it's just once a day. We got a non-foil Necropotence, but again, amazing art. That is that is a really beautiful Necropotence. Love that one. Looks like a death metal, like rock band kind of deal. Here we have our 1996, which the big hits for foil are the Chrome Mox, the Necropotence, uh, maybe Shark Typhoon. Regardless... I'm happy to get them even in not foil because the art feels a lot more vibrant in non foil to me. This is 1996. We have a Lim Duels Vault. It's an incredible card I didn't know existed until I tried to play CEDH and found out I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> Just makes it, it's really mind numbing to play CEDH for me. Uh, we have a 1997. I enjoy just a casual afternoon with uh, with my friends at the game store. Good laughs and stuff. Not having to think about what to counter too often. Uh, everybody enjoys magic for different reasons. This one does not want to open. Here, we have a Tradewind Rider. And I believe, like, if you look at the corner up there, it's a little bit janky. It's probably just because of how I tried to open it. I don't know who thought up the booster packs for individual cards, but that's a really good way to damage your cards, I feel. Here are 1998. Still got plenty of years to go through here. And uh, I am very anxious over ruining these cards, potentially. Oh my god, these do not open easy. Maybe that's part of the fun. Like, you're going to have trouble finding a near mint card on TCG Flare because they were so difficult to open unless you had a scissors or a knife on you. We have Smokestack. That's beautiful art. This reminds me of, like, the Mustafar, like the volcano planet in Star Wars. I think that's the right planet, right? Mustafar. We have 1999. So far, our only foil is a Shivan Dragon. Which is cool that we got the first one in a foil. Ooh, we got a foil Squee the Goblin. Nabob. He looks so happy. What's he holding? Is that like a little creature of some sort? Again, I think you can tell by how pringly it is. We have our 2000 ushering in the brand new Millennium. I am so anxious over opening these. This is nutty. Wizards, excuse me. How do you expect people to open these? This one doesn't have an obvious split here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Here we go. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Have Lin Savi, the Defiant Hero. Sorry if my hands are shaking. Again, this is really anxiety inducing. This one came kind of crumpled up. Hopefully the card inside is not messed up. If it is, uh, I have had damaged cards from Secret Lair before. I think the packing just had an issue. Oh no, is this going to be like one of those misprints that's like crimped or something? Yeah. Oh man, this one's even going to be harder to open. I have had um, one issue with some scratched foil cards from Secret Lair once. And wizard support, 
was good about shipping me some new ones relatively quickly. This is uh, this is a whole ordeal, isn't it? Maybe speed through the opening and post. Nope, doesn't open that way. Bruh. This is extremely difficult. <laughs> Help me. What year is the 2001? Do I care if this one gets damaged? I mean, I care if any of them get damaged. I paid for the whole thing. Oh, this is... Uh... Not great. Get our box opening tool. Can't even use that. Nope. Okay, wizards. Good game. Good game to you. You win. You win. I just want to open the pack, dude. Maybe this is the punishment for trying to open them all at once. Yikers. Do I have like, I think I have some clippers around here somewhere. Where did I put those? I think I need to go grab some scissors. I will be right back. Ah, we're back with some scissors. I genuinely don't understand how this made it past R&D. Like you're selling cardboard why would you put them in these impossible to open packages? Like one one piece, one piece of cardboard in an impossible to open plastic package. That's nuts to me. Anyway, we have a wild mongrel. Finally, we've revealed what 2000 was. Here we have, oh, is that 2001? Yeah, that was 2001. Here we have 2002. Let's go ahead and open it up. See if it gets any easier <laughs> than 2001. And they should have made um, 2020 the hardest one to open to designate how difficult of a year it was. Oh god, I just see the card bending as I'm opening it. This is not okay. We have our Genesis, which I actually need for a deck. So that's a beautiful one. It's like 3% chance for each of these to be in foil. So I think the odds of us getting any more foil is probably a little bit slim. So none of the heavy hitters, but that's okay. We still got the cards and they're all beautiful. Dude, opening these is like a, like a panic attack made of plastic. This is not great. Oh, let's go! We got a foil chrome box. Oh, that is beautiful. Wow, okay. We got the heavy hitter. Has a little dinged up edge right there. I wonder... I don't know if y'all can see that or not. I wonder if I can get wizards to send me another one. Uh, probably not. That's like... That's the heaviest hitter of all, I think. We have a 2004... Oh, this one opened easy. Let's go. Are they all going to open easy now? We have a glimpse of nature. So my friend got two foil chrome moxes. I wonder how common those are. We have our 2005. Let's hop in and be alive. Sorry. A little bit. Not really sorry. Not even a little bit. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, this one is not easy to open. I'm being like so careful here too. We have our lightning helix. Like you see some unboxing videos and they complain about them being like busted up and dinged up later. It's like, well, no shit. You were so harsh on that wrapper. But me, I'm being like as careful as humanly possible here. We have a 2006 booster pack. What happened in 2006? How old was I? I'm bad at mental math. Uh, fortunately, I'll have calculators in our pockets. We have a Bogardian 
Bogart, oh, Bogarden? Hellkite. I had to actually read that for a second. We got this one in foil. That's really pretty. Uh, might be a time to start stacking them in a new row here. Of 2007. Let's take a look at what's inside. This whole unboxing is an experience that we are living through together. I'm going to have to sleeve some of these up immediately, though. Like that foil chrome mox. That is gorgeous. It's going in one of my decks for sure. I'm glad I got the scissors. Although now I have to be careful not to, like, cut the card. Oh, man. Oh, there we go. That's all it needed. It just needed a little head start. We have a foil ponder. That is beautiful artwork for that ponder. That's going straight in my draft in the deck that I'm conveniently making a YouTube video for. Here we have a 2008. Let's take a look. Let's go skate. I don't know. I'm trying to think of rhymes for the years now. Just to kill some time while I'm trying to open these packs. As most of these packs are not easy to open. I think, I, I think the scissors are just going to be the play here. I had to wash these two. These are the scissors that I used to open. Where's the card? That's the that's the guessing game. The guessing game is where's the card? Am I going to cut it? Kind of like when you're cutting your cat's nails. It's like, uh... oh, by the way, if you notice how banged up my hands are right now with scratches and stuff, it's because I'm looking after a young, young kitten that I'm hoping to adopt. Depending on whether he has FIV or not. is Can't keep him around my other cat if he does. We have a Heritage Druid. Tap three on tap of the control. at green, green, green. A little bit biased towards green there, if you ask me. We have a 6002 or 2009. That's a weird looking too. Do they all look like that? They do all look like that. Weird. <laughs> we have a Bloodbraid Elf. Wow. Not even a card that I play, but that art is so gorgeous. Holy. Maybe my favorite art out of all of this. The time we start a new row, what do y'all think? And granted, I can't read the comments till after I finish the video. I uh, got 2010 or year 102, depending on how you look at it. I think upside down looks more like a two than right side up. Uh, wait for the camera to stop shaking a bit because I accidentally bumped my microphone that's attached. Let's get the little cheers to 30 years text on there, maybe. Nah. Open this up. This is really, really hard. Dude, I didn't realize how hard magic YouTubers have it sometimes. <laughs> and for other reasons too, but... Make sure I'm not hitting the card when I cut this with my... Dizimadoras. Uh -huh. There we go. Wonderful. We have a Sun Titan. That's really beautiful artwork, too. I love the silhouetted sun. God damn. Knocked it out of the park with the art on these. Let's start a new row here for the last few. We still got like 10 years of cards left. A 2011. We're on 1102, if you look at it the correct way. As far as I'm concerned, at least. Some of these are super difficult to open. Without damaging. Yeah, this is going to be another scissors pack. I feel like we're getting more scissors packs lately. I think only one booster pack so far uh, opened intuitively easy. It's, uh... Dear God. Help me. I'm not even religious. <laughs> Birthing pod. Let's take a closer look at this one wowzers that's really pretty too god they were i don't even know what my favorite is anymore maybe the ponder maybe the blood braid elf maybe the birthing pod maybe the sun titan i don't even know this booster pack is a really beautiful shade of blue and now we're in year 2102 <laughs> 
We're in the future and everything is still bad. Robots, robots killed all of us. The distant future, the year 2000. That's a good song. We have our death right shaman going straight into my aristocrats deck. That art is gorgeous. If all of the um, if all of the midnight hunt, I want to say it was midnight hunt, right? That had the cool treatment like this. If all of the art was this high contrast, I would have liked it a lot better. I think my problem with those arts is while they were really cool, the lands are really difficult to distinguish what they were. Here we have 2013 unlucky number. Let's see if it's a lucky card. Oh my goodness gracious! Dude. <gasps> Ooh, we got a foil Elspeth! Let's go! Uh, this one has way too much text on it because it's a planeswalker. Um, in, in the old border. So I don't know who would actually run this one in their deck, but damn. Look at that art, that is gorgeous. And I love, one of my favorite foiling treatments is like the rainbow foil old border. That is beautiful. Okay, I got a 2014. These are not straight and my OCD gonna kick in. Somebody help me. I'm going a little bit crazy here. Oh my god, there's like that little catch on the glue there. It makes me like, I'm gonna hurt this card. I don't wanna hurt this card. We have a Siege Rhino. Really cool colors. This is this is kind of like that um, Slime's secret lair that they did. He even got little drips on his face it looks like. He's like a sweaty Rhino. This will focus. Wow. Okay, I got two of the heavy hitters. We got Chrome Mox and Elspeth in foil. I'm pretty happy about that. Ah, okay, some of these are easy to open. It's kind of like a crapshoot though. We got 2015, a beautiful foil Dragon Lord. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. Yeah, I am, Ojutai. Ojutai, is that correct? Somebody tell me in the comments down below. Here we have 2016. Let's take a look. So it seems like sometimes when the tabs are aligned a certain way, they're easy to open. And if they're aligned a different way, they're not. Uh, this one, have to open this way. And I'm going to have a panic attack. Throw the trash to the side and we got Thalia, Heretic Qatar. That's a, that one has really nice colors. I really love um, monotone color palettes like this, especially when they're like sunset colors. Beautiful. 2017, we're getting close to the end, I guess. This is the 25 minute mark since it's been so difficult. Oh, it's gonna be different because I'm gonna cut in the video when I went to go get scissors. But um, anyway, at this point, if you're enjoying the video, uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for more content and I'm making some deck list videos too. Here we have the ET looking Nicol Bolas. Not in foil, unfortunately, but still really cool artwork. I love um, full art treatments like this where it extends all the way down. I'm like, I, I do like the extended art ones, but then it just kind of fades to black and it's a little bit disappointing. I love the full art ones like this. 2018, getting close to the end here. 2018 is the year I had my open heart surgery. So this is a good one, I guess, because I lived good year. Overall, I don't know. Struggled with mental health issues and stuff for the next few years after 2018 as well. So maybe not. Let's see what card it is. <laughs> I think 2020 is the Shark Typhoon, right? Because I love the artwork on that one. And our light Phoenix. Our light? Oh, Arc Light, not Our Light.
Oh my goodness, these are not straight. They look straight from my perspective, but then I look up to my monitor and it's like, nope, not even close. 2019, getting close here. Ooh, Emery Lurker of the Lock in foil. That is beautiful. This one kind of reminds me of like the Screamer art, famous art or whatever. I sound so, I sound, I sound like I definitely don't understand art. <laughs> the Screamer or whatever, you know, you know, art. <laughs> 2020, I think this is the Shark Typhoon. If this was foil, I would lose my mind because we already got the Elspeth and the Chrome Mox. Oh my god, please open. Please open. Open to the me. Uh, Shark Typhoon came out of... Jesus, this one doesn't want to open, guys. There's like this corner that's stuck and the card doesn't want to come out. Uh... Okay, there we go. Oh, we got a normal Shark Typhoon. But I kind of feel like this one would look better in non-foil anyway. I feel like the foiling might make this one feel a little bit not vibrant. Really cool. It's like a VHS case artwork. It's originally I thought it was like a monster movie poster, which I guess it kind of is, but it's in the VHS case, which I love. Um, a lot of kids over the next few years aren't even going to know what VHSs are because everything just streams. They won't even know what DVDs are. How, how nuts is that? Got 2021. Getting close to the end here. Maybe I'll put that Shark Typhoon in the draft in the deck that I built. Oh, Shark Typhoon would be so good in that deck. It's an artifact deck. Oh, no. I, okay. Yep, that needs to go in the list. Elite Spellbinder. I don't want to ruin the twist on the draft in the build, but uh, you get extra cash triggers a lot. So because of the way the deck's built. So Shark Typhoon would be extremely good in that deck. Here we have 2022, which is this year. We're in 2022 right now, unless you're watching this like a month and a few days from now, in which case you're in 2023 and you're living in the future. Uh, let me know in the comments how it is in the future over there in 2023. Are things better yet? <laughs> is everybody getting along now finally? People stop being racists and homophobes and stuff. Got Nashi Moon Sage's Scion. And then underneath, we have the bonus card, a Lotus Field in foil. I wonder if it's foil for everyone or not. Oh, that is really pretty. I don't actually own a copy of Lotus Field either. So that'll be a nice addition to my Tameshi deck, I believe. Yeah, that is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Wow. I don't know which one of these is my favorite art, but I am just over the moon that I got the foil chrome mox and the foil Elspeth. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, they're so pretty. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. Oh my goodness. Sorry for rubbing that in y'all's faces. That is just so beautiful. That's something else. Uh, at the bottom of the box, we have a weird pattern. I wonder if it's like a secret code or something. Or it's just padding. Oh, they're little hangers. They're little sticky hangers for hanging the packs around your house so you can open them uh, one a day. That's really cool. I can use those to hang something else. Or make my own advent calendar out of actual booster packs. Maybe I'll buy a box of Brothers War or something. And then hang... Or I'll just go to the game store and buy a bunch of different packs and hang them around for an advent calendar. Uh, who am I kidding? I don't have the self-control for that. Anyway, I'm super happy about this. Let's freaking go. Uh, other than that, I think this is a really cool product concept. Um, I want to know whose idea it was to put them in individually wrapped plastic slash foil booster packs like this. Because they were extremely difficult to open. A lot of risk for warping and ruining the cards there. But conceptually... It's a very cool product. I just wish they had executed like the sales page better so a whole bunch of bots and scalpers didn't get them and more of you could have gotten your hands on it without paying scalper prices. And uh, I wish that the booster packs weren't so anxiety inducing to open 
But maybe that's half the fun, like being careful enough to open them without ruining the cards inside. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button below because I am working on more Magic the Gathering videos. Like I have a really cool deck build coming up that I'm working on the animations for tonight. Uh, other than that, hope you all have a great rest of your day, whether you're in 2022 or beyond. And I will see you in the next video. Let's freaking go! Ah, oh, it's so pretty. <laughs>